Michael, you know what's even better than a day sailing in Falmouth? I don't. A day of sailing in a boat that you built yourself from scratch. Wow. And that can sound mm -hmm. like an overwhelming thing to accomplish, but the Woods Hole Boat Shop, right behind the Historical Museum, has been making it achievable, even for a total beginner like you. Here's the story of one young high school student who went from drawing board to dock in less than a year. This boat shop was started in the early 2000s, late 90s by a bunch of older gentlemen who uh, wanted to share the tradition of boat building, wooden boat building, uh, with the sort of younger generation. We're really providing the opportunity for people that want to learn how to build and maintain wooden boats, a place and space and education to do that without any sort of strings attached. Uh, my grandma uh, wanted me out of the house. When I came here, I didn't know anyone. I had just left behind everyone I knew. I spent a lot of time in my room, and I thought it was really important to jumpstart uh, making connections. He came by um, and, you know, was just sort of like seeing what we were up to and stayed for the day, and we, we put him to work. Um, you know, that's, that's what we do. And so, uh, you know, that's the whole point. Jake and Chuck sat me down and asked me what I wanted to do. And they said that I could build a boat. It's a shellback dinghy, which is a rowing and sailing dinghy. It's about 11 and a half feet long. They're really fun to sail. They, it's like a little go-kart. You know, you jump in, you throw the sail up, and you're going in five minutes, and it's just a great time. Everything with boat building is, is layered. When you start the project, each successive step that comes after that is based on the work that you did before. This is very traditional behavior of people that live in Woods Hole to have boats and work on their own boats, and so we're trying to keep that alive. This is the launching of Peter's shellback dinghy. It's a big event for those who enjoy them, and especially wooden boats. Uh, they're almost like living things. It's kind of like launching a child into the world. Here it goes. Oh, we're on the nose. Yeah. On the nose. <laughs> on the nose. Don't break it. Don't break it. Yeah. Don't break yeah. it. Yeah. Hey! 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 thinking and doing and head scratching and, and everything, you know, it's, this is, you know, this is the, the crowning moment, you know, the, the launch. It's in now and he's, and he's, he's right there, he's sailing it around and, and you know, it's, it's really, it's really very cool. Mm -hmm. I'm proud of you, Pete. Thanks. Yeah. What do you think, Michael? Does that story put you in a boat building mood? It kind of does, Eileen. But to answer your earlier question, I think even better than sailing in a boat I built myself would be sailing in a boat built by someone else. <laughs>